The Chandler Gilbert men's basketball team gets one final warm-up before they jump into conference play. Tonight, the undefeated squad is on the floor against Arizona Christian University, the JV squad, right here from the Coyote Center in only one place, the Coyote Sports Network. Good evening, everyone. I'm Joe Paquino. So glad you can join us. Well, Steve Silsby's team, what can you say? They have come out of the gates, and they are looking spectacular. A victory over the College of Southern Nevada, 81-66. A waxing of Ottawa University, Arizona, their reserve squad, 127-51. Knocking off Benu Mesa, the JV squad, 124-49. And just last Saturday, handling the Buccaneers of Park University Gilbert, the reserve squad, by the count of 90-55. to So the team coming in, they're averaging... 105 points or 105.5 and kids remember in school they teach it around up field goal percentage knocking down almost 54 percent of their shots from three 35 percent free throw line 62 percent rebounds per game 56 and assists per game almost 23 so this team collectively coming out of the gates and doing a really nice job now and the win over the Buccaneers on Saturday, and that was 90 to 55. We look at that starting lineup, and Will Coates led the way with 15 points. Andre Harris played 20 minutes, and Andre so smooth, cooler than the other side of the iceberg. Knocked down 14, Justin Fisher with 10. Lockie McCain with eight points, and Ty Cochran with three. And right now, before I even go any further, I'd like to apologize down under to all the Lockie McCain and Joe Brazier fan bases back in Australia. Now, I want to let you know they switched uniforms in the course of the season, so I was just going by the roster, so I've been calling Lockie Joe and Joe Lockie, but tonight that all changes. I spoke to all three young men last Saturday after the win over the Buccaneers. We are straight. We are situated. We are good. So for all the great people tuning in down under, I apologize once again. I am now on point, and we are ready to attack this in just the right way. So squad tonight taking on the ACU Firestorm, led by assistant coach Kevon Williams. Kevon played for ACU. Also part of the coaching staff that went 27-8 and eight last year, losing in the national quarterfinals. So this is a really good team. And they've got a reserve squad coming in here with some expectations led by their starting lineup. Number two, Jameer Giander. Number three, Tyler Brantner. Number four, William Gearless. Number 11, Jace Reed. And number 23, Israel Goldsmith. Of course, on the other side, Coach Steve Silsby and his team on home court where they thrive so far. Squad is off to that 4-0 start all on home court. They've really taken care of their business by doing a lot of things and doing a lot of things well. Versatile with the basketball. They can pound the ball down in the blocks. They can shoot it from the outside. And they're relentless getting to the rack. Of course, Coach Steve Silsby in his ninth season with the team. Last year, the squad with 21 wins. They made the postseason. Assistant coaches Mike Fowler, Zachary Harrison, and Isaiah Ledford. And for Coach Silsby and his team, this is the final warm-up because next week they jump right into league play. And matter of fact, it's this Saturday. They jump right into league play, and they take on Glendale Community College, and that is a 4 p.m. tip. And the women open up with Glendale earlier in the day. And, of course... We'll have the live coverage right here on the Chandler Gilbert Sports Network. Starting lineup for the Coyotes tonight. Number three, Justin Fisher. Justin, so relentless in the open floor. Dazzling. Number 12, Rocky McCain. Once again, I know how to distinguish between Rocky and Joe Brazier. Number 30, Andre Harris. You want someone smooth? You want someone who can do it down in the box and knock it out from the outside? That is Andre. We've got as well. Number 40, Ty Cochran. 
as well as number 23, Jakob Lloyd. And those are the starters for Chandler Gilbert. And as we look at the Arizona Community College Athletic Conference and some of the individual leaders and Chandler Gilbert, well represented. Andre Harris, he is fifth in the league in scoring at 20 points a game. Rebounds per game, K.J. Dunn. Just such a good, versatile player. He is pulling in nine rips per game. And this team, from top to bottom, has been simply dazzling. Once again, averaging over 100 points a game, and they could do it in so many different ways. And as we look at the standings in the conference, granted, these are all through today. Arizona Western, record of 4-0. and Chandler Gilbert, 4-0. and Pima Community College, 4-0. and Scottsdale Community College, 2-0. and South Mountain, 1-0. and Cochise, 4-1. and Eastern Arizona, 3-1. and Yavapai is 4-2. and Glendale Community College, 2-2. Two and two. Mesa is 1-2. and two. And Phoenix College, right there, down in the heart of Central Phoenix, off Thomas Road. They are 0-3. Oh of course, this is very, very in the infancy stages of this new season. So a lot of things can transpire. Coach Silsby and his staff, look, this is the final regular season tune-up. He wants to see his team even click even more. Wants to see them play great, ferocious defense. Wants to see them execute in the half court. And of course, you know, there's some areas shoot the ball better from three, shooting only 35% there. And from the free throw line, they're shooting only 62%. So there are areas that this team could work on. But the beautiful thing about this squad is that they are deep, they're talented, and Everyone is scrapping for minutes. And the great thing about this bench as well, no matter who is on that bench, all the players are so supportive of who's in. And that's great to see. You got great camaraderie, great team basketball going on, and nonstop support for one another. And you can't ask for anything more than that from the Chandler Gilbert basketball team. Referees for tonight's contest, Doug King, Anthony Hicks, and Bob Hudsonberger. And they are ready to call a great game. And from the women's basketball team, also in the stands, we have Jordan Zachary as well as Alana Jimenez taking in the fun. So it's always a great time to see some of the athletes from the other Sports teams coming in and checking out the action. And they're always so supportive of the other programs on campus. And you can't ask for anything more than that because it's just nice to see fellow athletes coming in in the stands. And you know they got your back. They're supporting you. They're giving you the love. They're giving you the energy. And to have that extra boost on home court or home turf or on the diamond or on the soccer field or on the softball diamond is always a great thing. So it's basketball right here from Chandler Gilbert. It's the Coyotes opportunity to stay undefeated in the preseason before things really get underway taking on Glendale Community College and the players and Coach Silsby, they're well aware. This is it. After tonight, it's the real deal. They jump right into league play, and they'll have Glendale Community College on Saturday, followed by a Tuesday 7.30 matchup against Coach E's. And then there's the Thanksgiving break. And, of course, Thanksgiving, we all know what that's about. It's about food, feasting, football, and not being afraid to have that extra slice of pumpkin pie. And in my case, I promise you, I won't be afraid to have that fourth slice of pumpkin pie. And if you got the apple pie with a crumb topping, I might be going for thirds as well. 
We are winding down. We are closing in for the announcements. And we're getting ready to dial those in and get ready for our national anthem. Stick and stay. So much more coming from the Coyote Center right here on the Coyote Sports Network. So we are closing in as the firestorm of ACU located right up the I-17 are being introduced. And of course, this is a squad just like all the reserve squads from Park University or Benu or Ottawa University. Look, they've got pride. They're coming in with a purpose. They're looking for the victory. So they are playing hard. And now on the other side, we got the classic Chicago Bulls music intro. And now the Coyotes are being introduced on home court. And I think as you look at this Coyotes team, you can't say enough about the energy Justin Fisher brings. A great young man who just provides that extra burst of energy. Played his high school ball at Hamilton High School, which is just right down Arizona Avenue. And then Lockie McCain, who is not number five, he is number 12. Once again, him and Joe Brazier traded numbers, and that's why I've been calling them by their different names. So you got Andre Harris out there, Jakob Lloyd, and Ty Cochran. And this team is ready to bring the energy and effort. And the great thing about a Chandler Gilbert athletic event, it's free to the public. So that makes it so worth it to come down and check out these great athletes that suit up right here off the 202 and Pecos Road. Beautiful campus, a great academic opportunity for their youngsters that are thinking about what, about what to do with their future. And Always a good time at the athletic events. And we are getting ready to tip this one as we get a little Motley Crue, a little Kickstart My Heart from the Dr. Feel Good album. And this one is a about to jump, and it's a firestorm possession. Tyler Brantner, top of the key. William Gearless running the point. Dumps it down. Lockie McCain giving chase. Other side. Ty Cochran, man on man coverage. Flip to the right side. Into the lane. And the putback is good by Israel Goldsmith. Good ball movement by the Firestorm in that first possession. And Goldsmith was able to clean it up. Cochran, Jakob. Dumps it down in the box. Loose ball. And that one is... Oh, 
Ball was out of bounds. And Justin Fisher will throw it in. Gets it out to Lockie McCain. The fearless wonder from down under. Justin in the lane and he'll get called for a travel. And it's going back the other way. And Coach Silsby on that sidelines. Already letting it be known that things have to be a little more crisp on the court. Works that right side. Jamari Gionder thought about it. Dumps it out, top of the key, long three. And that one is good by Tyler Brentner. Good look. And it's the Firestorm jumping out to a 5 nothing lead. Justin Fisher, Jakob Lloyd, top of the key. Swings it back over. Justin, couple dribbles, thought about it. Dumps in the box. Jakob tosses it up, can't connect. Firestorm with the rebound. Jander, guarded by Fisher. Justin, that man-to-man, -man, tough pressure. And Justin will be called for the first foul of this one. Non-shooting as the Firestorm will throw it in. Five, nothing early. This one just underway from the Coyote Center. William Gearless with Justin Fisher right on him. Gets the high screen. Gearless in the lane. Might have taken a Euro step. Pops it and connects it. A 7-0 ACU lead. So this team that doesn't have a lot of height has really come out and played well and shot the ball well. Andre. Little spin move in the paint, draws the contact, and one. Andre doing what he does, and that is flat out scoring. Andre with a shot at the three point play. And connects, good start for him. Andre a factor in this league, as we mentioned, the fifth leading scorer in the conference at 20 points a game. That one's almost taken away. Coyotes pressing from the outside. And Brantner with another three. A 10-3. Firestorm lead. Justin. Lockie McCain. And we have a foul away from the ball. It goes against Jace Reed. That's his first. So this ACU team, they're bringing some physicality, as we mentioned. They've got pride, McCain, Andre. 17 seconds on the shot clock. Justin will let it fly from three. And that one is good. Justin showing the range and knocking it down. Making his peeps on Arizona Avenue so proud. A 10-6, Coyotes deficit. Dump in the blocks. Going in, thought about it. Kicks it back out, Brandner, McCain on him. Swings it over. William Gearless, Gearless, couple dribbles. Big afro, lets it fly, off the mark. Gearless, with the classic look. Jakob Lloyd down court, banks it in. And the Coyotes working their way back into this one, down 10-8. William Gearless. Work to the outside, Jamari Gionder. Gionder getting tied up. Inside, throws it away, Ty Cochran, Justin, up! And misses the bunny. And that is very rare that you'll see Justin miss the bunny that close. Brantner, up and almost in. Andre, in transition. Dumps it over to Jakob Lloyd. Fresh shot clock, it's at 20, Jakob. Andre thought about it. Dishes out to the right side of the key. Ty going in. Loose ball. Andre doesn't get it. It's kicked over to Justin Fisher. And Fisher can't connect on the three. Rebound. Jace Reed. Reed almost loses the handle. Gets it over to Goldsmith. Goldsmith. Left side. Kicked in the corner. Brantner lets it fly. Out of bounds call goes against ACU. 15.48 left in this first half. So glad you can join us right here in the 
Channel Gilbert Sports Network. I am Joe Paquino on the call. And we have a foul away from the ball. William Gearless. And that is the third team foul for the Firestorm. Justin. Will Coates now in the ball game. Lockie Macklin has yet to shoot. Lockie just so good from the outside. Andre kicks it out. Will Coates buries it. Will knocking it down. It's 11-10. Coyotes lead. They trailed early and they're coming on strong. In the lane. And drawing contact is Gearless. Gearless. And it's Ty Cochran picking up the foul. Second team foul for the Coyotes. Checking in, number 15, Alonzo Paul. As well as number 21, Kamari Stenfill. Turnover. Andre, Alley. Looking for Justin Fisher on the oop. And stepping out of bounds after the great defensive play was Kamari Stenfill. So the Coyotes will inbounds. Fisher. Lockie McCain. Will Coates dumps it inside. A little battle on the floor. Justin with the strong hands rips it away. Good work by Justin Fisher. Kicks it out. Lockie McCain. And Lockie showing the range. And making his peeps down under, oh so proud. A 14-10, Coyotes advantage. Gearless, Alonzo Paul, Harris on him. Andre, long in length, Brantner long three. Can't connect, Justin with the rip. Justin surveying the middle of the floor. Justin kicks it out, Ty Cochran. Andre down in the blocks. Andre going in, drawing the contact, won't go. Going the other way. Kamari Stenfill. Stenfill can't connect off the glass. Justin. And there is a whistle. And that's going to go against Kamari Stenfill, his first, fourth team foul for the Firestorm. Non shooting. So early in this one, Justin Fisher with three, Lockie with three, Will Coates with three, Andre with three, and Jakob Lloyd with the deuce. 14-10. KJ Dunn in the ball game. Andre Harris inside. KJ up and in. No basket. Foul call. Goes against the Firestorm. Alonzo Paul, his first. Andre underneath. Andre up and in. Just so strong underneath. Andre with five points. 16-10, Coyotes. Squad trailed early, and they have poured it on. Gearless showing some handles. Little floater, and that is just pretty. William Gearless. Some nice quality moves down low. Fisher kicks it over to McCain. McCain. And Will Coates draws the contact against Kamari Stenfield. That's going to be Stenfield's second 16 foul. Dayon Jenkins dumps it into Justin Fisher. Also check in Elijah Byers. Dayon thought about it. Kicks it over. Coates, no hesitation. That one is short. Fisher, KJ, and KJ off the great feed from Will Coates. Great team basketball right there. 18-12 Coyotes. Will with the three-dimensional vision, and KJ just such a beast down low, and KJ just went up. And KJ on the other side going up and Almost coming up with the steal. Got his big paw on it. KJ tied for third in the conference with nine rebounds per game. 
So you talk about a young man who's bringing the energy. And here come the Firestorm. They've been stuck on 12 points for a while. Driving, getting in the lane. Little up and in and drawing the contact. Good work by Alonzo Paul. And the foul call goes against Justin Fisher. That's his second, third team foul for the Coyotes. And Alonzo Paul will go to the line to shoot a pair. Good crowd on hand here at the Coyote Center. Hall knocks down his first, checking in. Tyler White, as well as number two, Jamari Gionder. Paul back at the line. Nails them both. 18-14. Lockie McCain, McCain. And McCain draws the contact against Elijah Byers. So the Coyotes are in the bonus. And Lockie will go to the line. Lockie is such a good spot up shooter. Shooting 67% from the line. He hasn't had a lot of opportunities there, but now has hit three of four on the season. Lockie back at the line, and that one rims in and out. Stenfield with a rebound. Coates with the near steal, and the near travel by Stenfield. Byers works his way around Andre Harris, but loses the handle. Andre up the floor, Andre going in. And Andre gets called for the carry. And Andre trying to get some explanation from referee Dunk King. And needs to say Andre doesn't like the call, but we play on. 19-14, closing in on 12 minutes left. Lonzo Paul guarded by Lockie. Kick out, Byers, other side. Jamari Gionder. Tyler White. Gionder, thought about it. Taken away by Dayon. Dayon up the floor. Dishes out, Lockie. Lockie off the front of the iron, but how about KJ right there? KJ cleaning things up. KJ continuing to be a beast in the blocks. 21-14, Coyotes. Other side, Giander. Byers, Lockie on him, kicks it back. Stenfield almost lost the handle. Coates on him. 13 on the shot clock, kicked over. Tyler White, White, dumps over to Byers. Alonzo Paul, Dayon on him, driving in. Good move, could not finish at the rim. Dayon, looking for Lockie and just right through the wickets. 21-14, Chandler Gilbert and Coach Silsby on that sidelines. Very intense, wants to see his team play this one out strong before they start league play on Saturday right here at the Coyote Center. Take it on Glendale, 4 p.m. tip. We'd love to see you here. Kicked over, Byers swings it down in the box, Byers to Stenfield, Stenfield going in. And Stenfield gets called for the offensive foul. That's his third. Eighth team foul. For the Firestorm. On the back end, Dayon and Lockie McCain will work the ball up the floor. Under 11 minutes left in his first half. Jakob Lloyd swings it over. Dayon, high screen from Jakob. Little give and go, and Jakob knocks it in. And that is what you call chemistry at its finest. Paul in the lane, lost the handle. Dayon tracking it down, Lockie. Dishes over to KJ. KJ running up the floor. Over to Dayon. Dayon. Back to KJ. KJ up and in. 
and just great team basketball by the Coyotes. KJ, Jakob Lloyd, and Deion Jenkins. Just a maestro on the court. A 25-14 Coyotes advantage. Team coming out after a little bit of a sluggish start. They trailed 8-0 early, and then after that, they've outscored the Firestorm 25-6. KJ with six points. Andre with five points. Jakob Lloyd with four. Justin Fisher with a three. Lockie McCain with a three. And Will Coates with a three. Back on the floor, Coates, McCain, Jenkins, Jakob Lloyd, as well as K.J. Dunn. On the other side, Giander, Paul, Byers, White, as well as Malik Harrell. And we play on. Paul, try to backdoor to Byers. Byers kicks it in the corner. Stop, pops, and the pull up. Good work by Malik Harrell. His first bucket of the game, 25-16. Coyotes about to check in. Ty Cochran, Jakob, top of the key, guarded by Giander. Dumps it down low. Dayon in traffic. Little swing around the rim, and that is off the front of the iron. Will Coates try to feed KJ. But once again, some great team basketball going on. Some great unselfish play as Ty Cochran replaces Will Coates. Up the floor, Alonzo Paul, guarded by Deion. Giander, Jakob on him. 17 in the shot clock. Giander kicks it out. Malik Harrell, Harrell, Byers. Giander lets it rip from three. That one's off the front of the iron. Deion skying. Working his way across the half court line. Deion dumps it down. Jakob. McCain. Arrow on him. McCain. Back to Jakob. Jakob. Feeds McCain in the corner. McCain. Couple dribbles in. Stops. Pops. And gets the sweet roll. Rocky McCain. The thunder from down under. Makes it 27-16. Such a good shooter. Alonzo Paul, other side, picked up by Ty Cochran. 16 on the shot clock. Good effort as Byers tracks it down. Giander thought about it, driving. And nice work in the plane for Jamari Giander. It's first bucket of the game. Coyotes with a nine point lead. Down over to Lockie McCain. Jakob, Giander on him. McCain wide open. And you just cannot leave Rocky McCain open from three. Just too deadly. He's got eight points. The lead is 12 for the Coyotes. Harrell driving. And he is blocked by Jakob Lloyd. And Lloyd will get called for the foul. And he's looking back and can't believe it as Harrell will go to the line to shoot a pair. Good defense. About to check back in, Israel Goldsmith, as well as William Gearless. Gearless has played strong first half of the Firestorm. Andre Harris checking back in. KJ getting a breather. KJ is a good, hard-working basketball player. Does everything well on the floor. Harrell at the line. Hit the first and hit the second. He's got four points. It's a 10-point. Coyotes lead. Up the floor. Lockie swings it over. Back to Lockie, who's not afraid. That time a little too long, but Andre cleans it up. Dayon, strong in. And Jakob is there to clean it up. And they rule basket good. 32-20. Coming up, Gearless guarded by Dayon. Dayon giving chase. Gearless dumps it down. 
And couldn't connect on the bunny was Israel Goldsmith. Lockie McCain coming up. Lockie dumps it down. Jakob Lloyd. Lloyd swings it over. Dayon will let it rip from three. Too strong off the back of the iron. Up the floor, Giander left side. Giander. Goldsmith down in the box. Picked up by Andre. Elbow jumper, and that one is good. Israel Goldsmith, his second bucket of the game. He's got four. It's a 10 point. Coyotes lead. Dayon. Dishes over to Lockie. Lockie over to Jakob Lloyd. Lloyd. Andre. And Andre has the ball taken away. Andre looking back at the refs. Wanted the call. Doesn't get it. Giander looking for Gearless. Taken away by Lockie. Coyotes with numbers. Jakob. Ty Cochran. Andre. And banks it in. Good work by Jakob to tie, and Andre with the finish. A 12-point Coyotes lead. Gearless in the lane. Little spin move, and good work. William Gearless draws the contact against Ty Cochran. Fourth team foul. And we got a timeout on the floor. And we'll take a timeout right here from the Coyote Center. You're watching the Coyotes and the AC Reserve squad right here on the Coyote Sports Network. Six eighteen left in this first half of the Coyotes with a 34-22 lead. They trailed early, 8-0, and, and have taken care of business ever since. Gearless off the inbounds. And they called Ty Cochran for the foul. That's his third. Six-team foul against Chandler Gilbert. So Gearless with four first half points will inbounds for the Firestorm. Inside, Goldsmith. Goldsmith can't bank it in. Lockie picks up the loose change. Lockie directing traffic. Will Coates, Coates, Andre on the elbow. Kicks it over. Jakob fakes, driving. And it's going the other way, and Jakob Lloyd looking at Bob Hudsonberger and wanted the contact. Under six minutes left in this first half. Gearless, Deion Jenkins on him. And Gearless has been one to watch for the Firestorm in this first half. Goldsmith, kick out. Long three, and that one is good by Tyler Brantner. His third three of the half, he's got nine points, and the lead is nine for the Coyotes. Brandner, good catch and release kind of shooter. Dayon in the corner, long from three. Firestorm, outlet, they're running. Tyler Peterson, and down in transition was gearless, and that's not going to make Coach Sills be happy. Anytime you get beaten transition, that is just a lack of effort defensively, and Coach Silsby, trust me, he's got that in his memory banks for halftime. Jakob. McCain, long three. And Lockie does it again. Lockie, his third three of the first half. He's got 11 points. And we might be talking to Lockie McCain all said and done on the postgame show. Dump down, Goldsmith, kick over. Harrell, guarded by Will Coates. Wild shot, doesn't go. Andre swings it out to McCain. McCain. Pulls it back out. Will Coates thought about it. McCain open in the corner. And right now, Rocky McCain is on target at the shooting gallery. He's got 14 first half points, four first half threes. Harrell 
Swings over Goldsmith. Long three on the other side. That's off the iron. McCain. Locky dumps it down. Dayon over to Jakob Lloyd who lost the handle. Jakob gets it back. McCain left side. Came picked up by Brantner. Will reset with Coates top of the key. Andre thought about the three. Had Will cutting to the basket and they just could not connect. KJ Dunn checking in. Joe Brazier checking in. Deion Jenkins and Jakob Lloyd getting a breather. 3.57 left in this first half. A good one because the Coyotes were tested early. It fell behind eight points and then the wake up bell got them going and they've been solid ever since. And once again, another great shot by William Gearless. He's got eight points. He has been spectacular for the Firestorm. Here comes Andre Harris over to Will Coates. Coates kicks it out. McCain in the corner. And Lockie does it again. Are you kidding me? Five first half threes. He's got 17 first half points. Lockie McCain flat out can rip it from beyond the perimeter. Gearless picked up by Andre Harris. And we have an offensive foul against Israel Goldsmith. Ninth team foul against the Firestorm. And Lockie McCain taking it up. McCain setting up to Andre. Top of the key. Andre, 18 the shot clock. Will Coates, Coates, how about that? Will Coates banging it underneath and Will Coates, second basket of the game and, and Will Coates gets called for the foul. Will Coates gets the delay of game warning up the floor. Tyler Peterson, Peterson, working that right side, trying to get past Coates. Short, off the glass. KJ, running in the middle of the floor. Swings it out, Andre will let it rip from three. Andre long from the perimeter. Gearless, behind the back. Swings it out, and a travel call against Tyler Peterson. Forty-five, twenty-nine. Coyotes by sixteen. Lockie McCain, seventeen first half points, five first half threes. He has been dynamic. Coates from three, that won't go. But KJ rips it down. KJ, a glass cleaner specialist. Andre thought about it. Spin move in the lane. Going back up strong and puts it in. Andre. He's got nine points. Tough down in the box. That shot deep down to Tyler Peterson. Works it back out to Jace Reed. Reed. Goldsmith. Goldsmith misses the bunny. Andre with the rip. Buck 35 left. And the refs will... Talk this one over. And Coach Silsby, while the refs are discussing, Coach Silsby bringing his team over to talk about strategy in this final buck 35. They trailed by eight early, eight nothing, and then they have turned it on ever since. And the story of this first half, Lockie McCain. 17 first half points, five threes. And he is going to be part of this great dynamic Coyotes attack all season. Young man from Australia can flat out shoot it. Lockie from Melbourne Grammar High School in Melbourne, Australia. They've got a connection. And Lockie, as there was a technical foul call against 
Kayvon Williams, the head coach. And Joe, make that Joe Brazier, who just stepped on the floor. Lockie McCain has added two more. He has 19 first half points. So Joe Brazier from Melbourne, Australia as well. Lockie McCain from Melbourne, Australia, and Jakob Lloyd. The fabulous threesome from down under. Brazier beating Andre. 22 on the shot clock. Plenty of time. KJ. Andre from three. Andre can't connect. Gearless sky. Gearless up the floor. Gearless going right down the lane. And that is just a fantastic shot. And William Gearless is a dynamic basketball player. He's got 10 points. He's been spectacular for the fire storm. Andre clearing out. KJ was cutting. Andre down in the blocks. Fade away. Andre so smooth. He has 11 first half points. Coyotes up by 20. Other side. Tyler Peterson. Shot won't go by Jace Reed. Here comes Andre. 22 on the shot clock. KJ thought about it. About a seven second clock differential. KJ will let it go from three. KJ off the side of the iron. Brantner up the floor, swings it over. Near steal by KJ. And Gearless and the Firestorm will play for the final shot. Five seconds, Gearless. Andre tying up Gearless. Gearless will let it fly. And draws the contact against Andre Harris. It's Andre's first personal as Gearless will go to the line. With .1 seconds left, talk about a bailout foul as Gearless gets the opportunity to continue on what's been a strong first half for him. 11 points. He's been dazzling, getting to the rack. He creates his own shot. Good looking basketball player. And Gearless gets the roll. And that is gonna do it for the first half. And a first half that started slow for the Coyotes. And then the team poured it on. They trailed eight nothing early. And then all of a sudden, you name it, things went well. And the story of the first half, the wonder from down under, Lockie McCain. Five first half threes, 19 first half points. Andre with 11. KJ Dunn with six, Jakob Lloyd with six. Will Coates with five, Justin Fisher with three. Coyotes with a 51-33 halftime lead. And we'll take a short time out here on the Chandler Gilbert Sports Network. You're watching the Coyotes and the ACU Firestorm Reserve Squad right here on the Chandler Gilbert Sports Network. It is KPI. Is it Kayvon right there? Is that Kayvon Williams. That's him. He's playing my son in high school. Uh, in your belly. No, no. Not in high school. AAU. Oh, okay. I knew it. Oh. How are you? Good to see you. Good, how are you? Good.
I'm one basket off. Oh, Lana, are you joining me? Are you coming in? What's up? Dante, what's up, champ? Good to see you, brother. Are you joining me? You can. I don't know names or numbers, though. No, we're not talking. We're talking about the girls' team. Okay? Give me one second. And we welcome you back to the Coyote Center where the Coyotes are leading the ACU Reserve Squad, 51-33. Rocky McCain putting on a three-point shooting contest. My goodness, five first-half threes. He's got 19 points and has led the way as the Coyotes started slow in this one, falling behind 8 nothing. And after that, they've been lights out ever since. Now we're going to talk some Coyotes women's basketball. And I'm joined by the effervescent, charming one, that is Alana Jimenez. And Alana, here it is. Four games in, the team is three and one, coming off a big victory last week over Park University Gilbert. You trailed in the fourth, but all said and done, you guys rallied for the victory. And here you are with some momentum. And how's it feel to, to get that victory and have a little time off before you start conference play on Saturday? Uh, it feels great to definitely get that one in the bag and the, like just take that win and keep our record going three and one. With the time off that we have, I would say like we're definitely taking advantage of the time off because come Saturday is first game of conference play. So we are working hard. Our coach is putting us through like everything, like whether it's conditioning or going through our actual plays that we should be running. Like overall, he's really helping us a lot with this week that we have off before our game. So, Lana, that being said, you're four games in, three and one. And I'm going to tilt you a little bit this way so all the great people on Cyber World can see your face because the camera's right that way. That's right. We're waving. Hi there, everyone. So, that being said, give us kind of your take on this Coyotes team, three and one after four games. Uh, I think we're doing pretty great, in my opinion, because we're all upcoming freshmen, freshmen only like three to four sophomores. And I feel like the – we we'll have winning three games and only lost like one. It's best, like definitely giving us more confidence in ourselves and within our team and within our coaching, like our coaches and everything. So like, I'm excited to see what we continue to keep bringing and continue to keep bringing the W's in because that's what brings all the energy is winning, you know, like, and that feeling of working well together and actually pulling off a dub. Yeah, yeah. you kind of talk about working well together and what's really impressive is that the unity of this team. You know, I, I, I call the men's games all the time, and I see you here with Jordan Zachary. You got Rebecca Gutierrez here tonight as well. There's a bunch of your teammates, and you guys come together, and you're hanging out together. And how important is that to have that friendship, which ultimately can lead to great success on the court? 
it's very important. Like uh, a good team, like a team that feels like family is what's going to win you games. A team that is like individual and has egos is not going to win you games. So us all hanging out, out off the court and including on the court is only making us better because then we'll be able to trust one another. Like that's exactly what's going on. Like us coming together out off the court is helping us in game because of our, our relationships are building, our friendships are building, our trust is building, our communication is building. So overall, like what you see here is like us being a family. Yeah. And, and of course, with family, you don't want to let your other family member down. You always got their yes. back and you're always giving 150%. So this yes. week, huge week to prepare. So Saturday, it's Glendale. And I know for you and the team and, and Coach Fletcher Brown and Coach Sutton as well, what has been their kind of message about Saturday's game? And of course, that game's right here on your home court. That game is a lot to us, a very big game that we have ahead because we are both going head to head for a spot. You know, it's it's very like, like I said, co tops off conference play. Like we're in there, like overall, I think we're just kind of locked in because it's a huge game for us. You know, like I don't know how best to describe that, but we just have to keep that mental, like our mental right and stay locked in for Saturday. Absolutely, because that is kind of the, it's a tone setter. And, and how valuable it is that, because that really, you get off to a good start in, in league, it can kind of have that snowball effect where you get that winning mentality going, and then all of a sudden you, you chalk up one W potentially after another. Yes, that it's very important. Like you said, snowball effect. Our coach preaches that every day. He was like, He's always like, once one person is doing great, other people are going to want to strive off that greatness, continue to be great, like, and overall, like you said, like once one person's locked in, every other person's going to be locked in, and it just works very well. That's there's really not much like to say on Saturday's game other than we're ready. Like we we're going to continue to keep keep getting ready, but we just have to stay focused until Saturday. And that's an early afternoon tip off. I want to say 2 p.m. if I'm correct on that, yes, right? Okay. 2 so please, once again, all Chandler Gilbert. Athletic events are free to the public, so come on out. So before I let you go, I want to play your analyst cap on. You got to play analyst for me. So your thoughts of Lockie McCain in that first half, five first half threes, 19 points. When you got a player you're playing with that that is that red hot, do you just keep feeding him the basketball, or am I asking the most easiest question on the planet right I mean now? You're kind of asking the most easiest question on the planet. If you're hot, you're hot. And if you're able to create space off the ball and relocate and still continue to be hot, I will feed him the basketball over and over and over again. And so he's proven that he's not hot, you know what I mean? Like, not so much a ball hog, because at the end of the day, like I said, relocate and, like, find, like, I would I would still keep giving him the ball. Absolutely. He's got to, he's got to. Got to feed the beast, <laughs> yes. right? There you go. And how much, how much like synchronicity and symmetry is there between the men's squad and, and the women's squad? Because I know you guys both root for each other, and I've seen members of the the men's team out here as well. And look, we got Dante Church and the baseball team out here as well, yeah. right? And I I love Dante. Dante is such a force at the plate for John Watson's team. And but how much? Uh, great relationships is there between the men's and women's basketball teams? Honestly, we got a, a pretty good amount of pretty good ones. Like, we all see each other in the trainer's office, so we all get really close from that. But I would say we're all pretty tight. They respect us as much as we respect them. They support us as much as we support them. Like, it's very, like I said, family. Like, Chandler Gilbert is just a family-connected community, 110%. So... I think our, our friendships are pretty good. There you go. So let's talk about your extended family because Thanksgiving is right around the corner. And I think Thanksgiving is the ultimate caveman holiday. Why? Because you wake up. What are you going to do all day? Eat, watch football, watch hoops, eat more, and then try to stave off that fourth piece of pumpkin or apple pie, right? Yeah. So give us kind of the, the background of what's going to happen in the Jimenez household and, and if i was going to come over for dinner if you said joe look you're coming to my house what am i going to be eating at the jimenez house oh there's so much you you know you have your basics ham turkey stuffing but then my mom gets in we're all we're mexican so we got we got our like tamales and like wow. and then we got our like 
Um, my mom makes this really bomb uh, uh, green chili mac and cheese with a crusted top. And wow. that is my favorite, favorite Thanksgiving dish. And on top of that, the pumpkin roll. She's been making pumpkin rolls now and freezing them. There's like 12 of them in the freezer. Really? Yes. And your mom's name is? Amanda. Amanda. Okay, Amanda. So if you're watching this, this is a play from one Hispanic male who knows all about growing up in a Hispanic family. Because when Hispanic people or Mexican people or people of Hispanic descent in some shape or form, when they cook, they don't cook for like four people. They cook for an army. There's uh, enough food to last like two weeks. Yes, right? yes. 60 pounds of beans. 60 pounds of beans. 60 pounds of beans. <laughs> <laughs> so, Amanda, if you're watching this, you know, if you ever decide to make it to a Chandler Gilbert game and, and you say to yourself, you know what, that Joe guy, uh, I'm going to bring him a plate of food. I can handle that. Yes. And, and And so if you can find it in your heart, if just – if there's ever some kind of leftover, you know, and you want to give it to Alana to bring here, I promise it will not be wasted. I promise. She's, she will be watching, and she will get the memo. I there you go. I will get you a plate, Joe. That is Alana plate. Jimenez, and, of course, you can watch her this Saturday right here as the Chandler Gilbert women open league play against Glendale. That's a tip time at 2 p.m. Go get them, Tiger. Go win yes. that game. Thank All you, right? Joe. And we'll have more from the – Coyote Center as we're getting ready for the second half as the Coyotes are getting ready to take on the Firestorm. They leave 51-33, and we are moments away. So we start this second half with the Coyotes down in the box and Andre doing what he does. Just a physical force down low and scores the first bucket of this second half. Andre now with 13 points. Firestorm. And that's a foul away from the ball and that's Israel Goldsmith. That's his third personal. So a good conversation with Alana Jimenez. And we wish her and the women's basketball team the best of luck against Glendale Community College. Tip PM. Make that the tip time is 2 p.m. on Saturday. Fletcher Brown and his team looking to start league with a victory. And that is always so big. Justin Fisher off the inbounds. Locky, release rotation. That one a near miss, but he tracks it down. Locky inside. Andre, muscling, hustling underneath, and Goldsmith cleans it up. Andre does not get the call underneath. Gearless, other side. Swung around. And that one is thrown out of bounds as Jamiri Giander could not handle the pass from Jace Reed. 19 minutes left in this first half. Locky over to Justin Fisher. Fisher works out right side. Locky dumps it down. Andre, elbow jumper. Andre connects. Second basket of the second half. He now has 15 points. Other side. Andre on Goldsmith. ACU try to Knock it down, and Justin 
the missed time on the jump. Can't connect. Gearless off the loose ball, swinging it up. Brantner lets it fly from three. Brantner can't connect. Andre cleans it up. <coughs> Just another side. Ty Cochran in the corner. Coates going back up, going back up again. Firestorm cleaning it up. Coates and Cochran cannot connect underneath. Firestorm. Down by 22. Brantner. Works it to Jace Reed, over to Gearless. Justin Fisher on him. 12 on the shot clock. Goldsmith, Brantner, Jace Reed. Reed, couple dribbles, tries to go down in the box. Lockheed cleans it up. Ty, spin move, and Ty doesn't get the roll, but underneath. And they call the foul against Andre Harris, and that was kind of a weird foul call because it looked like Israel Goldsmith had his arm wrapped around Andre's head. Needs to say, we play on. 7.25, make that 17.25 left in the second half. Going in, holding his pivot foot, Jace Reed, Reed, Coats on him, gearless. 10 on the shot clock, Brantner. Goldsmith, Andre on him. Brantner in the corner. And Brantner in and out. <laughs> Stepping in. For the Coyotes, number 11, Marlon Landingham from James Rhodes. I think that James Ford Rhodes High School in Cleveland, Ohio. Landingham getting an opportunity. Kicks it over to Will Coates. Coates. Landingham. Back to Coates. Coates. Andre catch and shoot. Andre. Now raking up the box score. Six second half points. He's got 17. Gearless almost lost the handle. Right side. Giander. Brantner, Goldsmith, kicked in the corner. And Gearless, Justin Fisher on him. Gearless, couple dribbles. Tries to muscle one off the glass. Landingham, leading the break. Cochran, Justin Fisher, off the glass won't go. Gearless, open floor. Brantner, opportunity at a three. Lanningham rips it down over to Justin Fisher. Hectic pace in this second frame. And they call the offensive foul against Justin Fisher. Lockie McCain back in the game. KJ Dunn also in. Dunn, Lanningham, Cochran, Andre Harrison, KJ Dunn on the floor for the Coyotes. Alonzo Paul, right side. Brantner, his role is to set shoot. Alonzo Paul, Goldsmith, Brantner thought about it. Giander and Giander. Foul call goes against K.J. Dunn. First personal for K.J. He's been clean up to this point. Dumped down in the backcourt. Alonzo Paul with McCain on him. Goldsmith, Andre Harris. Goldsmith turnaround, short. Here comes Will Cochran. Middle of the floor, Cochran weaves it over to KJ Dunn, McCain, Alonzo Paul on him, Andre, 18 on the shot clock, taken away by Alonzo Paul, and Andre with the big swat. Coyotes get the ball back, Cochran, and Lockie underneath, and Lockie now with 21, 
his first bucket of the second half. This one coming the easy route. The short deuce in the paint, unlike his five threes in the first half. But with Lockie, for him, shooting threes is like a layup. Lonzo Paul, Paul, and Paul gets called for the travel. 14-37 left, 59-33, Coyotes. Hope everyone out there in Chandler Gilbert Nation had a good weekend. Veterans Day, a great one across our country. Special thanks to all our veterans and active military, our police, our firefighters, and all our first responders. Long three attempt by Landingham. Racing up, Jace Reed, Reed, Reed into the middle. Brantner will let it fly from three. That's short. Cochran rips it down. Ty, middle of the floor. Ty. Lockie open from three. That one, a misfire. A rare misfire for Lockie. Driving inside. Brantner. And they call the Offensive foul against Jace Reed. <laughs> Will Coates on the inbounds. Lanningham. Haven't seen much of the freshman from James Ford Rhodes High School, but getting an opportunity. He's got the white shoes with the support in pink. Andre. Elbow, that's short. Jace Reed will rip it down for the firestorm. KJ, guarding Reed. Taken away by Lockie, Lockie. Landingham, Landingham off the glass and in. Marlon Landingham into the scorer's column. His first basket. And it's a delay a game against Chandler Gilbert, and that's against Landingham. Tactical against Landingham, and Brandner will shoot it. Brandner connects. Brandner now with 10 points. He had three first half threes. Coyotes haven't done much wrong in this one. A couple delay penalties not sitting well. They've also been Beaten in transition a couple times. That hasn't sat well with Coach Silsby. 61-34. Here comes Jamari Gionder. Picked up by Lanningham. Lanningham, young man, 6'2", long and lanky. Stenfill lets it fly. In and out. A couple Coyotes skying for the rebound. Lanningham out duels Andre for it. Lanningham over to Andre. Andre surveying the floor. Landingham, deep three, lets it go and knocks it down. Marlon Landingham showing the range. And that one was from like South Chandler. My goodness. Other side. Here come the firestorm. Jamari Gionder works his way in the lane. Second basket in this one. He's got four points. Landingham, Coates. Coates dumps it down to KJ. Coates gets it back. Lanningham thought about it. Try to feed KJ inside. And that goes against Chandler Gilbert. Firestorm will get the ball back. On the floor right now, Lanningham, Dayon Jenkins, Coates, KJ Dunn, and Jakob Lloyd. 64-36. Alonzo Paul up the floor. Paul. Picked up by Lanningham. Lanningham is going to be valuable against those guards. He's going to have the height and length advantage over him. Gionder across the way. Catch and shoot opportunity. And that one is knocked down by Mark Blodgett. 64-39. Lanningham, Coach Silsby directing traffic. Will Coates back to Lanningham. Lanningham shoots it over to Deion Jenkins. Jenkins, KJ in the corner. 
KJ off the arm, but KJ so good at following a shot, and KJ a force of physicality and go to the line and we'll shoot a pair. On the contact is Gionder. KJ, the fourth leading rebounder in the conference. Make that tied for third, actually, at nine a game. He's got seven points. And that is the beautiful thing about this Chandler Gilbert roster is so versatile. They have so many players that can do so many different things. And how about Jakob Lloyd feeding KJ underneath? Great hustle play. And this Coyotes team, we talk about how good they are. They play such great team basketball. Well, they are just a force on the glass as well. They average 56 rebounds a game. Foul call this time goes against KJ. Going to the line is Alonzo Paul. So there is a 30 second timeout on the floor. We'll take a short timeout right here on the Chandler Gilbert Sports Network. Alonzo Paul at the line shooting a pair. Knocks down the first one for his third point of the night. Coyotes up by 27. They trailed this one early by eight. Paul knocks down his second free throw. Landingham running the point. Will Coates back to Landingham. Swings it over to Dayon. Dayon, Landingham. And Landingham loses the handle. Looking for that potential catch and shoot opportunity. Alonzo Paul racing it up the floor. Paul trying to get past Landingham. A little fade away, and Alonzo Paul showing the nice touch. He's got six points. Little drive penetration and a little soft fade away over Landingham. Coyotes back offensively. Dayon controlling the top of the perimeter. Landingham, deep three. That one just a little long. And underneath, KJ. A force in the blocks. He now has 11 points. And Lanningham gets called for the foul. Checking back in, Justin Fisher. Lanningham making his case, saying he did not even touch Alonzo Paul. Steadfield, other side, Blodgett, Blodgett, kick out in the corner. Tyler White can't connect the three. ACU, Tyler Peterson, Peterson trying to get in the lane. Throws it up, wild shot won't go. KJ Dunn, over to Justin. KJ will reset with 21 on the shot clock. Dayon, over to Jakob Lloyd. Lloyd, cross court, Will Coates inside. And that one, KJ going back up. Can't connect and KJ back there yet again. And the foul call goes against Kamari Steadfield. Non-shooting, but you can see the relentlessness from KJ Dunn in the blocks. Probably about three, four rebounds in that sequence right there. Once again, one of the leading rebounders in the conference, Justin Fisher with a bad pass. Taken away by Elijah Byers. Byers. And Justin now back on defense. Tyler White swings it out. Peterson going in, into the trees, kick out. Tyler White, White. 
And Justin Fisher takes it away. Dayon over to Jakob. Jakob off the glass. And how about that team basketball right there? Fisher, Dayon to Jakob Lloyd. Almost a near takeaway by Jakob. A little backdoor pass. And the backdoor is good by Mark Blodgett. He's got five points, 71-45. Good energy in the building. A lot of fans making it out. Of course, the firestorm just right up the I-17. Coates, Coates dishes down. Jakob, across the way. Justin Fisher lets it go from three. Off the side of the iron. And Will Coates with the soft touch off the glass. Will's got seven points. 73-45. Steadfill. Foul call is against Dayon, and Dayon will just look at the ref and own it. A little bit of a hand check and got called for it. Here comes Elijah Byers off the inbounds. Byers, Steadfield, back to Byers, catch and release. KJ, yet another rebound. Coates. In the corner, Dayon thought about it. Dayon, a couple dribbles, pull up. Dayon, too strong. And who is there? KJ just putting on a rebounding clinic. Parker Larson in. Larson. He'll go to the line and shoot a pair. Foul call against Tyler Peterson. That's his first. Park underneath, rips it out, Dayon. And Dayon knocks down the three. Dayon's first basket, but he's been so impactful in so many different ways. Running the floor, playing great defense, and just finding his teammates. Pull up jumper on the other side. Tyler Peterson strokes that elbow jumper. That's his first bucket of the night, 76-47. Joe Brazier about to check back in. Parker Larson underneath and the flush by Will Coates. High and hard. Larson to Coates. And Coates with the excellent finish. Tyler White in the corner. Steadfield trying to get past KJ. Kicks it out. Peterson will reset. 11 on the shot clock. Peterson will stop, pop, and knock it down from the top of the key. Tyler Peterson with a good look. Taken away by the firestorm. Steadfill, pull up jumper. And that one is good. 78 51. 638 left in this one. And that one's taken away by Steadfield. Steadfield going in. And the missed jump. Steadfield going in high. The big left-handed finish. And Justin Fisher gets called for the foul. Steadfield going in the line to shoot a pair. Looking like he was going to bring down the rim. Misses the first. Brazier, Calvin Gustafson, and Marlon Landingham checking back in. KJ, quality minutes. Just a force down in the blocks. Another stupendous performance by KJ. As Pat Riley once said, no rebounds, no rings. And KJ Dunn just fills that up every single night. Steadfield misses them both. Parker Larson over to Dayon. 6.20 and counting. Dayon, Joe Brazier, Calvin Gustafson from Queen Creek High School. Over to Joe. Joe, batted pass right back into him. Calvin down the lane. Calvin blocked by Steadfield. 
And here comes the firestorm. And that could have been a, look like a near travel by Tyler Peterson, but he draws the contact against Marlon Lanningham and Peterson. He's got a shot at the three point play and Peterson with six second half points. Peterson at the line and gets the roll. And Coach Steve Silsby is going to call a timeout. And we'll take a short timeout here from the Coyote Center. It's the Coyotes and the ACU Reserve Squad right here on the Coyote Sports Network. And we welcome you back. 6.03 left. Coyotes up 78.54 of the ACU reserve squad. Deion Jenkins. Guarded tightly by Elijah Byers. Marlon Landingham. Landingham getting some good minutes in the second half to show what he's capable of doing. Parker Larson top of the key. Tyler White on him. 11 seconds on the shot clock. And Larson on the nice feed to Landingham. And Landingham. Seven second half points. Steadfield in the lane. Blocked by Dayon. Good defense by Dayon coming back. ACU ball. About to check back in. Lee Carroll. Catch and shoot opportunity from that outside. And once again, filling it up. Mark Blodgett. Blodgett. Eight second half points, couple threes in that mix. Dayon works that to Calvin Gustafson. Parker, Parker over to Calvin. Marlon Landingham feeds Calvin in the blocks. Calvin blocked from behind by Steadfield. Tyler White in transition. Misses the gimme. Joe Brazier coming up. Joe also from Melbourne, as well as Jakob Lloyd and Lockie. McCain and Lanningham throws it away. Lanningham and Dayon not on the same page. And 80 to 57, Coyotes lead. They trailed this one 8 0 early and then poured it on. Saturday. It gets real for this team as they open league play against Glendale right here at 4 p.m. Matt McCurdy will have the call right here on the Channel Gilbert Sports Network. Justin Fisher. Fish kicks it over to Parker Larson. Parker over to Justin. Justin pulls it back out. Will stop, pop, and let it launch from three. And Brazier on the perfect inside look to Parker Larson, who wasn't ready for it. And Buddy Watson about to check in. Joe Brazier checking out. Buddy in. Buddy the pride of Marco Sinise High School. You talk about a young man who is the ultimate team player, Buddy Watson is in. Provides great energy and support. And getting some minutes in this one talked about what it means to him and Parker Larson misses the inside finish. Hate to see that. Blodgett from three. Blodgett misses from long range. Larson cleans it up. Buddy talks about his time here at Chandler Gilbert. How much he enjoys it. The camaraderie. The fun. 
all his friendships on campus. So you'll love to hear that from the young man who's having a good time here off the 202 on Pecos Road. Calvin Gustafson couldn't get the, the flow to the fall. 319 left. Steadfield, Calvin Gustafson giving chase. Calvin with a big block. Fisher. Middle of the floor, kicks it out. Calvin will let it go from three. And Calvin knocks it down. Calvin Gustafson, the pride of Queen Creek High School. And the man with the best mustache on campus. And Peterson contact as Gustafson picks up the foul. 83-57, Nolan Christensen about to check in. Peterson at the line. And Peterson connects on the first. He's got eight points. Dayon checking out. Nolan Christensen, an opportunity to make some memories in this one. Peterson knocks down the second. Watson up the floor. Malik Harrell giving chase. Harrell, but he almost lost the handle. Christensen's there to have his back. Justin inside. Parker Larson kicks in the corner. Good ball movement. Calvin. Nolan underneath. Nolan blocked underneath by Steadfill. Steadfill's had a nice little second half. And Buddy tried to clean it up in the corner. Couldn't hold on. Laddingham about to check back in. 2.29 left. Coyotes up 83-59. Steadfield kicks it out. Catch and shoot. Peterson off the front of the iron. Christensen up that left side. Has it knocked from behind. Coyotes ball. 26 on the shot clock. And Buddy will... Do the work off the inbounds. Buddy feeds Nolan Christensen at the top of the key. Nolan, Parker, Parker surveying the court, knocks it back over to Nolan. Nolan, couple dribbles, loses the handle. This one down the floor. And Malik Carroll can't control it as Joe Brazier with the hustling effort. Back defensively. Steve Silsby constantly coaching on that sidelines. Brazier right side. Parker Larson. Larson dumps it over to Joe. Joe and Steadfill will pick up the foul. And that's his fifth. So checking back in as Steadfield's fouled out as Elijah Byers. Brazier. On the one and one. Hits the first. Joe's first points of the game. Always get to get into the scoring column and can't connect on the second. Almost tracks it down. A good hustling effort. But ACU wins that battle in the corner with Malik Harrell. Buck 30 left. Harrell going down the lane. Blocked by Calvin Gustafson. The tower of power from the deep South Valley in Queen Creek. Put a big coyote paw on it. Knocked it away. Harrell in the corner. Driving. Goes into the trees and draws the contact and comes down with the basket. Malik Harrell. Calvin Gustafson will draw the foul. Harrell with the shot at the three-point play. He's got six points and make that seven. Joe Brasier over to Buddy Watson. 
Closing on one minute left in this one. Buddy swings it. Nolan driving. Can't connect off the glass. Here comes Byers. Shoots it and Peterson with a diving effort in the corner. Could not come up with it. So the Coyotes back on home court this Saturday. Taking on Glendale Community College and Glendale has started the season two and two. We'll take a look at Glendale Community College and look at their their season so far as Joe is at the line. Joe connects on the first. So Glendale with a victory over Arizona Christian University, JV, won 15-83. They lost to Pima Community College Tournament versus Oregon County, 99-77. They lost to Dallas College Eastfield, 87-68. And they lost to Winnichi Valley College. They actually beat Winnichi Winnichi Valley College 85-57. So that is where they are. Two and two on the season. They're averaging 86 points a game. Larson over to Buddy Watson. Joe tried to dish inside to Parker Larson. Now the dump down to Parker. Parker, Buddy Watson from three, and Buddy. A little too strong. Racing up, Peterson. Shooting down to Tyler White, just a little out of reach. And the Coyotes will hold on to the ball for the final 21 seconds. 86-62. And that is going to be the final as the Coyotes pick up their fifth win. And they do it once again in impressive fashion. And Lockie McCain leading the way. With 21 points. And Andre Harris also. With 17. We'll keep it right here. We'll see if we can get a couple interviews locked and loaded right here on the Channel Gilbert Sports Network. Don't go anywhere. More to come from the Coyote Center. Was there another stat sheet for the whole game?
Five and zero. Oh.
And we welcome you back to the Coyote Center where the Coyotes finished their non-conference schedule in fine form, knocking off the ACU Firestorm Reserve squad by the count of 86-62. Here with the tall, cool one, and that is Andre Harris, who knocked down 17. And Andre, look, non-conference, you did what you had to do, took care of business, you're 5-0, and and your thoughts on getting that fifth win here tonight? And you kind of talk about being ready for Saturday. And, and when you see Lockie McCain in that first half, and he's just drilling it from three, what's it like to be part of a, a sharp shooter who's just so in a zone from beyond the perimeter? Uh, since the first day of practice, I told Lockie, man, we're going to have a lot of fun this year. Uh, it's, it's a double die in command. It took a lot of, a lot of time. It's going to be a matter of taking the shot and keeping confident. He did that today. Yeah, he had 20 points. He had five threes in the first half en route to a – a game high, 22 points. And and give us kind of your thoughts of where this team is after five games. And, you know, you've you've had the preseason to work on some chemistry, to some, figure some things out. And, of course, the season is a work in progress as you go. But your thoughts of where this team is, Andre, after five games? Um, five games gave us a, a real good idea of where uh, the position is going to be. Uh, I feel like we know that. You know, where people like to get their ball. Five games, we realized that if we play our style of game, play at our pace, it's going to be very hard to beat, and we're going to see a lot of people beating us. And uh, we just try not to get happy with not wins that are, you know, I don't want to say they're bad, but, you know, go play better teams. And that's the second place of the trail. So the bottom line is not to get complacent with uh, victories against teams that you know you should beat, and, 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 moving forward always to be hungry and continuing to bring that hunger to the court. That being said, you jump in a league play on Saturday, and how much does the intensity level pick up when you start playing those league games? We, feel it. we talked about it after this game. Uh, we're ready to go. It's going to pick up a lot. People, got, people start to get a little film on us. You know, you go see, they're going to know our plays. It's about back doors and get to the second side of the court and stuff like that. It's going to help us be great. And we're very unselfish, so it's going to be easy to do. And, and this team is very unselfish. You average about 22 to 25 assists a game to go along with your 56-plus rebounds per game. It's a very team-oriented uh, basketball team, very unselfish. And that being said, you got Glendale. They've started the season 2-2. Two and two. Your thoughts on them, what you know, if you've had a chance to kind of glance at them, you've kind of taken a, a look at their roster, and, and what can you expect from Glendale on Saturday? A lot of bigs that we think that are going to wear them down, slow them down. We can see a lot of switching on defense. And uh, it's going to be hard for them to guard us over a while. So we're expecting a good one on Saturday. Uh, hopefully we come up on top. And how important is it to kind of set the tone? And you've already done that on the home court, but to send it, send that message in league play that you come to the Coyotes' den, it's going to be a tough night here off Pecos Road. That sounds like a good plan. So that being said, you got Coach Cheese on Tuesday. Then, of course, look, one of the favorite holidays across the nation is Thanksgiving because I, I look at Thanksgiving, Andre, is that you're waking up and all you got to do is watch football, you got to watch hoops, and all you got to do is eat. And I'm not afraid of that third piece of pumpkin pie. So that being said, how is Andre Harris going to be spending Thanksgiving Day? So that being said, who cooks up the spread? And let's just say by chance, you say, hey, Joe, come on over for Thanksgiving. What can I expect at the Andre Harris household for Vittles that day? Uh, Grandma going to have a lot of turkey, a lot of mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, uh, the whole, the whole, the whole nine. Going to be good. There you go. <laughs> All right, that's going to be a fun feast at the Andre Harris household on Thanksgiving. But first, you got a feast on the court with a game against Glendale Community College. 4 p.m. tip-off right here on the channel, Yerba Sports Network, followed by Coach Cheese on Tuesday. Andre, always a pleasure. That's Andre Harris. We're going to keep it right here. Lackey Macklin. Lackey Macklin is just right across the way.
And Lockie is going to join us right now. And Lockie, as he works his way, the Thunder from down under, slowly working his way right over here. And Lockie, so glad you can join us right here. And, and, and first and foremost, that first half, you were just sizzling from three. Hit five of nine threes in the first half. You were locked in. Talk about being in that zone in that first frame. So you came out, you, you set the tone, knocking down those perimeter shots. And how much does that help the offense when you're able to, you know, spread the defense to force them out in the perimeter to help the interior of your offense get some easy baskets underneath? So the team is now 5-0, and owing. and give us kind of your perspective of the team after five games. I think, yeah, we're playing well. That's, that's all we have to do. Although the game hasn't been the most challenging, it's just it's important to go out for those big wins and just sort of build confidence and just, yeah, get everyone in and get, get reps, get to the offense. And, that sort of thing. and how are you feeling from, you know, you grew up in Melbourne, Australia, the other side of the world. Here you are. You're basking in the sun of Arizona. Of course, we have those great mild winters here, right? We love the weather here. So how are you enjoying your time here in Arizona? It's been good. Like, it's a bit different, but it's sort of what I've been working towards for, you know, four or five years, just trying to get over here, play basketball. And it's just, yeah, after that long, long hard work, and it's, it's paying off, which is good. It is paying off. You're knocking down shots. You're making an impact with this team. And let's talk about the message with conference play starting on Saturday. Right here at the Coyotes Den, you take on Glendale Community College. They've opened with a 2-2 two and two record. Your thoughts on setting the tone here the right way in league play and letting people know, once again, that Chandler Gilbert's going to be a force in league play? Well, it's, it's sort of just really important for us to come out Saturday, get a good win, because, once again, it's all confidence. Like, when we're confident, we play well, and we knock down shots, we just play our best when we're confident. So it's going to be really important for us to come out strong on Saturday. And how important is it to set the tone right here in league play? Because you've done this in non-conference, getting five wins right here in home court. But to start league play with a victory here and let everyone know that coming to the Coyotes' den is no easy task. Yeah, it's going to be important, especially having played two the week after they're going to be a tough game and at home. So we say to yeah, protect our home court, don't forget your fans. And sort of after that, we've got an away game. So it's basically just keep building confidence. So that being said, you got Glendale Saturday, Cochise on Tuesday, then Thursday, one of the best holidays on the planet, which is Thanksgiving, which every we all know you. It's kind of a caveman's holiday. It's one of my favorite days. Basically, you wake up, you eat, you eat more, you watch football, you watch basketball, you sit on the couch, you don't move, and you gain about like 5,000 pounds, which is okay because that's part of what we do here in America. We feast on turkey, we feast on dessert, and then some. So if I was going to go to your house, if I was invited over for Thanksgiving, what kind of spread could I expect? Honestly, I have no idea. I, I'm not the one organizing it. Um, uh, honestly. If we were back in Australia and you invited me over for Thanksgiving, what could we expect? We don't have it in Australia. You don't celebrate Thanksgiving? Yet? So this is going to be my first Thanksgiving. Wow. There you go. All right. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm so glad you're going to spend your first Thanksgiving. And who are you spending it here with? There you go, your fellow Aussie brothers. There you go. That is uh, Lockie McCain, who is great. 22 points, 20 in the first half, five first half threes en route to the team's fifth victory of the year, knocking off the ACU reserve squad. Look, my friend, best of luck on Saturday. Thank That's you. Lockie, and that wraps up our coverage as the Coyotes improve to 5-0. and Of course, this Saturday, they're back in action, taking on Glendale Community College. The tip-off set for 4 p.m. Catch us right here on the Channel Gilbert Sports Network. In the meantime, take care and have a great evening.